very important, you must know this, that Ramadan is not just about abstaining from food and drink. No. In fact, the Prophet ﷺ said that the person, that Allah has no need of a person to abstain from eating and drinking who does not abstain from evil in their speech and action. Now, you know, it's very interesting, this hadith. Because I don't think we have a measure. I mean, we know from the point of view of fiqh, we know the things that break our fast. We know the things that break our fast. There are definite certain things that break our fast. There are definite certain things that break our wudu. There are definite certain things that break our salah. We, you know, we know them. They are known. But how much lying breaks your fast? One lie? Two lies? Three hundred lies? How much swearing breaks your fast? I mean, how much do you have to do before your fast is worthless? Allah is not interested. Allah has no need of a person. In other words, you might as well not bother, although you still have to do it. Of course you do. Why? Because you don't know what the measure is. You don't know what it is. We don't have anything to measure specifically how much evil breaks the fast. So you still have to keep your fast. But what is the lesson is that the fasting has an inner dimension. It is supposed to transform us inwardly. That if you're abstaining from food and drink and intimate relations, if your fasting does not also cause you to give up swearing, lying, breaking your promises, cheating, stealing, etc., etc., then what sort of fast is it? It's a hollow fast, it's an empty fast. It's a fast that has no real benefit. Maybe then you'll be one of those people that gets nothing from the fasting except that you get hungry. And you get thirsty. And you get nothing from your night prayers except that you get tired. 